Well, we've processed mm -hmm. just uh, under two million uh, individual tax returns as of yesterday. And normally in a year, we get up to about three million. So we've done roughly about two thirds of the amount of uh, returns that we will process during a typical tax season. As I noted, we've processed about two thirds. So that means about one third of the people have left their returns to be processed in the last week or so. And that's typical. Uh, a lot of people wait till the end, uh, just either out of human nature or they have other things to take care of. Um, so the statistics are about the same for this year as they've been in years past. One of the things that people can file is a property tax credit and people tend to file those as early as possible. So late January and February are busy months for those uh, because you don't need some of the forms that you need for other uh, tax returns like uh, the W-2 and some others. On typical income tax returns, again, we do see uh, a lot of them being filed in the last couple of weeks, again, close to the deadline. And, and that, again, is just either human nature or people just have other things to do and, and want to file at the last minute. Well, if you're expecting a big refund, people do tend to file that sooner than if they owe. So I don't have the exact statistics, but obviously if people have a check uh, that's going to be coming to them, most of them want that sooner rather than later. And if they have to write a check to the state, they uh, tend to put that off as long as they can. So we do see more returns that include payments in the latter part of tax season. I think people should just remember common sense things when they're filing. Uh, one is if you can file electronic, do that because uh, it'll get processed faster and there's less chance for errors and you can, you can process uh, or, or send in the return uh, electronically at any time. Uh, something else people might want to remember is just common sense things like uh, make sure you sign the return. Uh, make sure to include all the forms that you're supposed to to show what your income is or what uh, interest you've gotten off bank statements, uh, things like that. And uh, those are two common ones that, that people sometimes forget to do. One would be make sure to sign it. Two would be to uh, review all the math that you've done, especially if you've done your return manually, in other words, not electronically, because a lot of the electronic returns do the math automatically for you. And then make sure all your forms are included, like the W-2 and bank statements and things like that. Obviously, if you have to wait on the mail service to get the return to us, and then if you have a paper check that comes back in the mail, that is obviously going to add some time. Our season average up till uh, April 11th has been three days that it takes to process it. Now, that's business days, and also that doesn't mean the person has the check in hand in three days, especially if they get it in the mail. But we've been averaging for all our returns, both paper uh, and electronic, about three business days to process it. Uh, now, that will increase as the this last onslaught of returns come in, and we have a lot of payments to process. Uh, but again, that's been our average so far, and, and that's pretty good, considering we've processed nearly two million uh, returns already this tax season. I'd say the one uh, difference that people have noticed this year is that if you are getting a refund, we have a new option. In the past, you either got a direct deposit uh, electronically into your bank account, or we mailed you a check. This year, we have a, sec a third option, and that is a refund debit card and uh, it's also mailed to you, uh, but it is different from a check. Some people like that convenience of having a debit card that they can take to a store and, and have it, uh, you know, a certain amount taken out of their refund as opposed uh, to having to deposit their check manually. So that is an option that some people have been able to take this year and a, and a new one that we've offered. I would say that if people do have questions, we have a lot of good resources on our website, which is www.dor.mo.gov. That's dor.mo.gov. And uh, you can even get forms, online forms from the uh, website and answers to lots of questions about the tax return.